today, Tree Mugs here. I wanted to take a look at setting up basic rigging hardware using whoopee slings. So a whoopee sling is an adjustable sling that is spliced out of hollow core 10x rope. So the basic idea is on the one side you have a fixed spliced eye and then on the other side you have a adjustable loop. So where that loop exits the tail goes through itself because it's a hollow core rope goes through and then you have an adjustable tail there which allows you to make the loop larger or smaller so this allows you to fit it tightly to the tree that you're working on so the the main applications that I use whoopee slings for are the basic porter app setup as well as the safe block and rigging rings so I want to look at a few uh, of the basics of setting up and using rigging hardware with whoopee slings. Okay, so before we can set up our porter app at the base of the tree, we first have to get it onto the whoopee sling. So to do that, we're going to use a girth hitch. So we're going to take the fixed spliced eye end of the whoopee sling and it's going to attach to the straight long arm of the porter app. It's the same side with the pin. So to do your girth hitch, you're going to take this, the fixed spliced eye through, and then you are going to take the rest of the uh, whoopee sling and pull it all through. Like this. And what you are left with is a girth hitch like this. So now we've installed the porter app onto the whoopee sling. So let's take a look at installing it at the base of the tree to use for rigging. So the general guideline in terms of sizing is uh, you can estimate how much uh, slack you need in the adjustable loop portion. Um, so the distance from the girth hitch all the way to the end of the adjustable loop should be a little bit more than three times the diameter of the tree that you're working on. So sometimes this is a, a useful way of estimating and sometimes not. So I've already estimated about three times here. So let's see how I did. So I'm just going to take the adjustable loop and I'm going to throw it around the tree. And then I'm just going to see where where it crosses on the other side. So you can see it crosses way up here. So this is a little bit looser than I want. I would, I would prefer it crossing somewhere in here just to keep it nice and tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull some slack out of that adjustable loop. A bit of slack there. And then I'm gonna throw it around again and just test and see what it looks like now. So now when I test, I can see that it's crossing somewhere in there. And that's, that's going to be pretty good for this application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, the porter app and I'm going to put the whole thing through the uh, adjustable loop on the far end of the whoopee sling, just like that. And then I'm going to tighten it up. So that is how you can install the uh, porter app on a whoopee sling at the base of a tree. So there's two main things to, uh, to keep in mind for this application. Number one, you want to keep the sling and porter app as low to the ground as possible in most situations. And the reason for that is the, uh, the, when it's low, it allows you more leverage to, uh, to pull and tension line, lines better and uh, keep the slack out of your rigging. And then the second thing to keep in mind is you want the porter app to be positioned uh, around the trunk in the appropriate position for based on where the rope is hanging down. So in order to do that, what you can do is with a whoopee sling is you can just open it up, slide it like this, and now it's nice and loose. And now I can just drag it around and put it exactly where I want it, at the base of my tree. And once I get it there, then I'm just going to tighten it up again. Okay. So that is your basic setup 
for a porter wrap at the base of a tree with a whoopee sling. And now I wanted to look at one other situation, which is what to do when your whoopee sling isn't quite large enough. So let's say I was on this spar here and I wanted to use a safe block to do some negative rigging off of it. Now just by experience I can tell that this uh, whoopee sling is probably not quite long enough to do this. So I'm just going to test that theory. I'm going to extend it all the way, make it as large as possible, and then I'm just going to check and see if I'm correct. So I'm just going to see where the adjustable eye comes to and you can see it's not quite large enough to fit around this spar. Um, so one way to get around that is a lot of people will prefer to use just dead eye slings on their safe block but another way to do that is you can actually extend your whoopee sling and make it larger. So the way to do that is you use another heavy duty rigging sling. So this is not just a standard cheap loop runner. This is a heavy duty rigging sling and it should be at least as strong as the, uh, the 10x rope of the sling itself just for compatibility. So to use this I'm going to start by uh, adjusting the loop making it nice and small. Not quite as small as it goes but fairly small like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my heavy duty sling. I'm going to fit the entire thing through the adjustable loop and then I'm going to pull it all the way to the middle. Okay, so this is the basic concept. I have a heavy duty sling through the adjustable loop of my whoopee sling and now now instead of the safe block passing through the adjustable loop itself it's now going to pass through this secondary sling. So let's check that and see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to take both both legs of my secondary sling like this and I'm going to just test check where they cross. So you can see that they are in fact long enough to work on this spar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the safe block and pass it through both legs of that secondary sling and then just tighten that up. So what I've done is effectively lengthened my whoopee sling using a secondary sling. Uh, so one of the considerations that you want to uh, keep in mind with these slings is they usually have a stitched portion which is stiffer. You want to keep that stiff portion away from the hard bends right here as well as right here. The stiff stitched portion should ride somewhere in the middle just for maximum strength. So that's how you can adjust your uh, whoopee sling and make it a bit larger. And then uh, you don't really need to do this. A lot of people will just throw a little back up onto their uh, whoopee sling with the tail here. You can just tie a, a half hitch like that. So that would work for this position on the spar. And then as we got further down and the spar got larger, we would, uh, we would make the eye starting point larger and then we would do the same thing with the secondary sling to, uh, to make the entire thing larger. So that is uh, lengthening your whoopee sling using a secondary rigging sling.